Hey kiddos, it's Sarah here from the Rapid City Public Library to share another story time short with you today and we will be reading King of Kindergarten by Derek Barnes and Vanessa Brantley Newton. And this story is for all of you wonderful kiddos out there that are starting kindergarten. And you know what? You've got this. It's your time to shine. And before we get started, I'd like to thank Penguin Random House for allowing us to share this story today. The King of Kindergarten by Derek Barnes and Vanessa Brantley Newton. The King of Kindergarten. The morning sun blares through your window like a million brass trumpets. It sits and shines behind your head like a crown. Mommy says that today you are going to be the king of kindergarten. Or clean. You'll use a golden brush to clean the royal chiclets. You'll wash your own face with a cloth bearing the family crest. You'll dress yourself neatly in hand-picked garments from the far villages of Osh and Kosh. But of Osh and Kosh, but gosh, you'll be ready to rain. My baby is heading to school, Mommy will say during breakfast. And you're not a baby. Could a baby wolf down a tower of pancakes the way you can? I don't think so. You're going so f you're growing up so fast, Daddy will say, and he'll be right. I can't stay the same size forever, can I? You'll say, one day I'll be taller than you, Daddy, and you'll be my little man. Daddy will laugh, but you won't be joking. Then a big yellow carriage will deliver you to the Grand Fortress. As you walk up to the towering doors, you'll remember Mommy saying, hold your head high and greet everyone with a brilliant, beaming, majestic smile, for you are the king of kindergarten. Your teacher will welcome you with a warm smile and a friendly good morning. She'll be delighted by how you recite your name with pride. When you head to your royal seat, the kids at your round table will wave and say hi like they've been waiting on you all summer. So you smile back, return the wave, and give them a cheerful, hi everybody. The truth is, you couldn't wait to meet your kindergarten kingdom either. Your teacher will go over classroom rules and you'll all discuss important matters such as shapes, the alphabet, and the never-ending mystery of numbers. She'll even read a book about trucks, trains, and tractors. Whew, it sounds like a lot, but you're the king of kindergarten. Piece of cake. You will show your bravery at recess when you go up to one of your classmates and ask, Marie, do you want to play with me? Not only will she say yes, but she'll lead the way in helping you save the kingdom by battling fire-breathing dragons. In the cafeteria, the boy sitting next to you will be missing dessert. You'll have packed your favorite, chocolate pudding, with an extra cup just in case. So you'll say to him, want a pudding, Howie? He'll say thanks, and you won't mind at all. Because what could be cooler than sharing with new friends? After a royal rest, you'll arise to sing and dance and bop to a rhythmic beat. The day will be one you'll never forget. At the end of it, your teacher will wish you all a magnificent evening and bid you farewell until dawn. On your way back home, you'll think of all the things you can't wait to tell your parents. I made a bunch of new friends, my teacher is nice, and recess is the best thing ever. And tomorrow it will begin again. Another day as the charming, the wonderful, and the kind. King of Kindergarten. The end. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope reading this story makes you get rid of some of those jitters that you might have had about starting kindergarten. And don't forget, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. We have for now, folks. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.